Here we have again the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 1. What we're going to do is multiply the function by a constant p, and we'll see what at the moment. At the moment it's set at 1, so we've got 1 times this. If we change it so we get 2 times it, then what happens is the whole function gets stretched. If we look at the distance from here to here, which is 4, and the distance from here, which is to here, which is 2. 4 divided by 2 gives me a stretch factor of 2. I can change that to 2.5. You can see now we've got 5 units here and 2 units here. So that's going to be a stretch factor of uh, 5 divided by 2, which is 2.5. If we go the other way, Okay, so here we have 0 0.5, so this is going to be 1 divided by 0 0.5, which gives me, sorry, 0 0.5 divided by 1, which gives me 0 0.5. If we go back the other way, so it is negative, okay, it's because we're in different directions here, this is 2, and this is 2, hit minus 2 here, then obviously we get what's known as a negative scale factor and the shape of the graph goes the other way, so we get minus 1 times f of x. Again, we can change that to minus 2.5, this one is 5, and because this is in the opposite direction, I'm going to consider this to be minus 2. 5 divided by minus 2 gives me minus 2.5. So if we multiply the function by a constant, normally we call that p, then what we get is a stretch parallel to the y-axis, because the stretching is parallel to the y-axis, and compared with the original function, y is equal to f of x. If it's minus, it goes in the opposite direction. If it's positive, it goes like in the same direction like that.